All right, it is time for your lunch break. Your produce man, Michael Marks, is here with the deals of the week. Hi there. Yeah, three of the best deals. Let's start with figs. Figs right here. Black mission figs. I also saw some brown Turkish figs. But these are black mission figs right there. They're called black mission figs uh, because when the missionaries were here in California, uh, they would actually use the black mission or the fig tree as the four corners of the mission. So every mission that they planted, they planted four fig trees as the corners of those missions. So that's why they call them black mission figs. This, by the way, is what we call the second season. And by the way, the fig is the only fruit that you will never, ever in a million years see a, a, a blossom on the tree. Where's the blossom on them? The blossom is actually inside the fruit. You can actually cut the fruit in half and see there's the blossom. It's kind of inside, kind of cool. But this is what we call the second season. The first season comes from last year's blossoms, and the fruit is not nearly as good. When the second season comes around, which is now, that's this year's fruit, so much better, so much sweeter. That's what these are. Three forty-nine a pound for these black mission figs. I saw a dollar twenty-five a pound for some peaches uh, and nectarines. Let's uh, cut one of these in half. And, and check it out real quick. You are into some of the mid-season uh, fruit, and this is still, still, yeah, cling peach time. Let's uh, check out uh, the nectarine, probably also cling. But we are moving, uh, that they call it a, s <laughs> that's definitely a cling. Uh, but these are, we're moving into more freestone peaches uh, coming up, but $1.25 a pound for peaches and nectarines. We're really into the peak of the season of, of this fruit. And finally, strawberries. I, I had to show you these strawberries. Uh, this is a two-pound container. It's huge. Two pounds for $3.97. So that's like $2 a pound, right? But one of the things you're going to notice, check it out. What do you notice? Yeah, they're much smaller. Uh, they tend to get much smaller this time of year, and here is why. The strawberry plants in Watsonville, they're now now trying to reproduce itself. So they're putting out all of these runners. And you maybe if you have strawberries, you know what that is. All these runners are going out. Uh, so if workers are actually going in the field to pick off those runners because when the runners go out, the plant is sending a lot of food to the runners, not to the fruit. That's why we end up with smaller fruit uh, this time of year. But I got to tell you, these smell fantastic. They're still small, but mighty in flavor. Hey, back to you guys.